back with another video today. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. And also, happy almost Thanksgiving. I think Thanksgiving has to be one of my favorite holidays just because of all the delicious food and the cute decor. Anyway, so today's video is going to be a quick and simple tutorial on how to make Thanksgiving place cards. A lot of us, especially this year, we might be staying in with some families or we might be having some small gatherings versus what we used to have due to, you know, COVID and social distancing. So I feel like these place cards are just really cute additions to the dinner table even if you're only having maybe 10 or 12 people and they are also so easy to make. I'm a really big fan of cutting cardstock with the Cricut now. I forget that you can make more with the Cricut than just vinyl and t-shirts. <laughs> Definitely take advantage of the other features that the Cricut has even if it's just a Cricut Explorer 2 or if it is the maker like I have. So before I get into the video, if you are new here by the way, hello and welcome to my channel. As you can see, I post all Cricut videos and Cricut projects, crafts, Etsy tips, all of that just in one big bunch. If you like this video and you want to see more of it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and click that subscribe button to see more of my content because I love giving you guys free content each week on different crafts and whatnot. Now let's get into the tutorial. As usual, we are going to open up Cricut Design Space and let's get our template. So I typed in Leaf SVG off of Google. Since this is a personal use project, we are allowed to use Google and I really liked this one right here. If you were deciding to sell these as a template, you would have to buy this from the proper person that made the SVG in the first place. So I just right clicked and saved it as an image. Then we're going to click upload, upload again, browse, and then we can see right here it's on my desktop. It actually was a PNG already so I don't have to remove the background and I previewed it just to make sure. And then we are going to save it as a cut image. So we'll select it, we'll upload it. And now we can adjust it to the size that we want. I'm pretty sure I made mine about like three inches, I wanna say. Um, this does depend on the backing and the burlap that you have. So if you have a smaller burlap, obviously you'd want to make the leaf a little bit smaller. So for this part, I did not want to have the stem on the place card. I used the square and the slice tool to remove it. And I do show this method in my slice tool video, which I will insert a card right here. That's why I sped this part up and I didn't want to go into detail about this because I already did a video on it. So if you want to know how to do that, please check out that video. So now we can finally adjust it and I made it a little bit centered even though the Cricut already adjusted it sideways when I wanted to make it but that's okay. So I moved it to make sure it wasn't touching all the corners and then I have to browse materials because this is a certain cardstock. The one that I got from Michaels, it's just, it's not light but it's not heavy so I decided to go with the medium cardstock. Usually it will tell you the pound weight of it and you'll see some, you know, the light cardstock is a certain pound versus the medium. This is the sheet that I use and it is a beautiful deep burgundy color. I attached it to the mat and I used my roller tool just to make sure it was really onto the mat so it didn't move around. And then I click the arrow button and let the Cricut cut it out. You can click the arrow button again and then remove it and you can see it made a perfect cutout of the leaf. Now we can get our burlap. Again, this is a runner and I will link this in the description below. I just cut off the excess of it because I didn't want the extra of it. You can use a ruler if you want to do a straight line. I personally didn't really care if it was too straight just because it gave that fall rustic look, but that is personal preference. So I went ahead and cut both sides and placed the leaf on the burlap just to make sure I knew I liked the placement of it. Now we can get our clothespins. I got like a 50 pack, I think, from Target for I think $1.79, which I can link below. And I wanted to stain this, so I used a tiny little paintbrush and my favorite Minwax dark walnut stain, and I lightly brushed it along the clothespin. This is personal preference, of course, again, but I really wanted it to look a little bit more rustic. So 
So now we can take a Sharpie fine point paint pen, which is in gold. This you can find at any craft store or Amazon. And I wrote out my name. Personally, I didn't want to use vinyl on this. Um, I do like my handwriting and I didn't mind it. If you wanted to use vinyl, of course you can do that too. But I think the paint pen was just a little bit easier. Then we can take a clothespin and attach it to the burlap and you are all set. See, how easy was it? Thank you so much for watching my tutorial and my video today. I hope you guys use this and if you do, please tag me on Instagram or you could comment down below. And so the next few videos are going to most likely be holiday related, some Christmas gifts, some crafts, some projects, and I am so excited. I love Christmas with all my heart. Please don't forget to subscribe and put on those bell notifications because my next few videos are, I think, videos that you guys are going to really enjoy. Thank you so much again for watching this video and I will see everyone in the next video. Bye!